Good morning, students and parents. Um, our proprietor and our bishop, the most reverend Henry Chukudomu Kuba, here represented here by our chairman, Mark John Mwambia. He is the chairman of the Diocesan Education Management Board. He is our father, our own counselor, the one that has ably stood by us to the team and the team. We welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. And also, at that day, we welcome you, Elias Patile, the Venerable, and the Ambassador. We thank you for the way you have projected us in the nation and also projected the kingdom of the Lord. May the Lord continually bless you in Jesus' name. The members of the PTA ESCO here present, past and present, the management of the school, the staff of the school, the parents of our children, and our own children. We want to welcome you to this year's speech and prize giving day. And also we use the opportunity to graduate our students who are transiting to the senior secondary school level. We pray that the Lord will bless every one of us and keep us faithful unto him in the name of Jesus Christ. My welcome is very simple. In the book, a new Nigeria is possible. Chris Kuwani noted that the past and present Nigeria has gone through a period of human character underdevelopment, not a matter of resources, human character underdevelopment. So many of the experiences that would have been adverted if the truth was not relegated in running the affairs of our country. It's a country we run without a possible guideline to regulate the behaviors of us, the citizens. He noted an unproductive lifestyle and sentiments, prejudice, and the need for us to embrace an attitudinal change by the agents, the agents who want to change this country so that there will be a deliberate national reformation. I talk about our school. As we welcome you to the African International Academy in Edu Abuja, speech and pride every day as well as we graduate our junior secondary school students who are now transiting to the senior secondary school level. I wish to appreciate your choice, parents, of the Anglican International Academy. It's an Anglican communion-owned school, and under divine permission, it is to nurture and train our future leaders in self-realization and service to God and humanity through excellence, faith, and integrity. We are unapologetically exceptional in the training of our children. We concentrate in the body, on the body, the soul, and the spirit. And we utilize the tested, time-tested Anglican methods. Our training is not to improve man as a rational being, but it is to instruct our children into the life that God intended for them. It is for them to have a form or a being that is faithful for the service of God and man. It is to be able to keep our hope and glow to impact life as students as they learn the deeper truth of God's rule and they are stewards in his kingdom. Our curriculum points this out. We exercise our minds daily in the word of God for faith to gain the consent of the will, for an irrevocable commitment and surrender in obedience to God. Our utmost is for our children to expand the boundaries of God's truth that never fail, whose light reaches into the darkest corner of every community. We intend to have a movement of restless minds that have been transformed with restless virtues and endless peace. In the course of the year, we have had great improvement in our physical, spiritual, psychological facilities. There is the multi-gate field that you pass as you enter through the gate. 
We also have the multi-purpose court for football, volleyball, and so many other games you can see there. We have a well-equipped laboratory. We also have e-learning classrooms. We have the state-of-the-art ICT laboratory. Various seminars and workshops were also conducted to update and prepare our teachers. We engaged in some out-of-school teaching and excursions to the National Assembly and the Wildlife Park. We had out-of-school football match in which our own students, look at them the way they are, we gave the 5-0 football match, you know, to the All Saints Boys School. Can you clap for our children? 5-0 is our first outing. We also have the coding coaching in advanced ICT. Our brother is here. Please, can you just let them see you? He is a volunteer. We are not paying him any salary. He is the one that is teaching our children coding so that we can move forward. He is a disciple of the revival neighbors. The William of the group. The Lord will bless your brother in the name of Jesus Christ. We also had times in which we have various staff and student discipleship program to program us for what we are doing. The proprietor and our bishop, the most reverend Henry Chukudomu Dukuba, is the one leading and directing our spiritual formation exercises. He even did the confirmation of a number of our students and many of us parents were there. And we also want to congratulate the volunteers also from Peace House. They are here, many of them. You can see one of them there. They are here to help us in the cycle. Please can you stand so that they can see you very well. We are not paying them any, any salary. They come in here from Gwilea. Only many of you know him very well. He's a very good teacher of the Word of God. They are from him and they have been helping us to see what, they can, what we can achieve with our children. So we are not just training them to excel in learning, we are also training them to excel in character. Thank you very much. We had a hundred percent success in our FCG, BECE exams. And also in the NECO, this is at the junior level, we also had a hundred percent. Can you clap for our teachers and our students? And it is most gladly to inform you that the FCT Directorate of Quality Assurance, they've already visited us and they have given us a pass mark to go up to NECO and Waye and invite them to come and accredit our senior secondary school level. We have enjoyed the singular regular visits of our proprietor and all our assistant officials. The chairman and members of the Dancing Education Board, he is here by himself. He has so many other things to do, but we are priority to him. When we had our inter-house court, he was here. And when we had our graduation last year, he was here. At all times, all that pertains to school is a priority to him, sir. We welcome you and we thank you. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. We also have the PTA, the escorts and members of the PTA, both the new and the outgoing ones. They really helped us. You can see our water uh, system is purified, the bubble purified, done by the PTA. We also have another one, you know, hand pump bubble done by the PTA. We appreciate our parents, we appreciate to the PTA ESCO and every member of the PTA. We also had some renowned personalities visit our school. Many of us will hear about uh, the professor Chile Dunimbo. He was the former federal minister for mines and power, and he has been a vice chancellor of so many federal universities. He came in here to visit us in the company of our private. We also had the privilege of having Professor Jerry Ghana. Many of us know him. He was in charge of MAMSA. He also visited us. We also have Professor Tegere, who, was, who is the vice chancellor of the National Open University, also visiting us. We had the visit of our own professor. That was Asaju, the former vice chancellor of our own Anglican Ajayi Naga University. He is the bishop theologian of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. He visited us also. I want to mention this personality so that you know very well that this is not a, a school that the Anglican Communion is toying with. We have enjoyed this visit to be able to maintain a standard. And not just there, 
Mama Ama Pepo, as students, I, you remember her? You remember her? Yes, yeah, she came in here, not just only to fellowship with us, she had lunch with us. Can we clap for her? She is the former head of the Federal Civil Service. We also had Mama Elege, a retiree of the Central Bank, and one who is a champion of children's rights, visiting us also in this school. Why we appreciate all these visits and donations and guides, we will call upon you, every one of you here, to note the impact of our efforts in the life of our children. Especially as they go home today, look at their lives. Look at it, and when we receive the day in September, please bring us back messages. Tell us where we are floating and where we are also excelling. Remember to congratulate us. You will agree with me that our future has been the enemy's fury. Look at the area of our social media. You know what it is doing to our children. If you look at the area also of our economics and our social assets, children have different challenges than their parents' uh, presence. Why? Because we have to go and look for the money. Things are getting very hard. And things are getting very, very expensive. So we want to appreciate our parents that are here. We are not taking you for granted. We want to call upon you to please continue to partner with you, our parents. For the children that you have committed into our hearts, we will not betray your confidence. We are also celebrating our proprietor and our diocesan for setting up and guiding this school. We want to also celebrate the togetherness and commitment of our staff. Your sacrifice is worth celebrating. And we are also celebrating our students whose lives have continued to be a motivation to us and calling us to be better commitment. I call upon you, you know, in a time like this, let us give thanks to God who has made it possible for us from our various locations, our various locations, our various professions, our various destinations to be here. I say to the all glory, all thanks, and all praise be ascribed unto him in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to thank you for your presence. Congratulate our children and our staff.